par per watt is a, a very key indicator that you guys need to, to pay attention to. A lot of companies will give you the par. Uh, the problem is that's center par. So if you take a light, any, any given light source, and you measure straight directly down underneath it, this is the center par. So they'll say, oh, I have 2,000 par, some crazy number um, at this center point. The problem is I could get, anyone could get this number to two or 3,000 par if they wanted to. You could put a 45 degree optic and have three or four or 500 watts just come straight down here and cover a one foot by one foot space and have crazy par numbers. What you need to look for is the total par per watt. And then you also ideally would want to look for it over, um, you know, a space. So if you have a 90 degree optic, you're going to cover this entire space. What we do to measure par per watt is we actually take data points from the center of, of actually a four by four grid, including the center. We total those, which we call mass par. Then we divide that by the running watts, not, not what the light's called, not the name, not what it says on the, on the light. We actually run it from the wall. So we'll use the meter, the running watts, and we divide the total par by the running watts, and that gets us the par per watt. If you look at any of our data sheets, you can see the par per watt easily for any one of our lights, and then we also measure and test a lot of other lights. We're constantly testing all kinds of lights for you guys so you can see what the par per watt is. For example, an HPS is very low par per watt, maybe six or seven par per watt. That's because it's very inefficient. It produces a ton of infrared that you don't even know it's really producing. Um, it's, a, it's a strong light, but it's not very efficient.